Good day. In this video, we're going to look at function notation. I'm going to show you what the different writing means. Firstly, these three things mean the same thing. You will each time, when you see a question, convert it to one of these three that suits you best. The first question says, determine f of 5. This means that you're going to replace the x with 5. So that x becomes a 5. So you rewrite this, replacing the x with 5. Then you simplify it and you get 3. So when you replace the x with 5, you get a y value of 3. In this case, it'll be a coordinate. x is 5 and y is 3. The next question reads, determine x if f of x equals 0. You will see that this number was in a bracket. This one is not in a bracket. Now you've got two ways to do it. The first one I don't prefer. So you take x minus 2 and you equate it to 0. I prefer to go to this way of writing the equation and then replace the y with 0. And then we just solve for x by bringing the minus 2 the left hand side by plusing 2 on both sides. So that gives us x equal to 2. Again, we have a coordinate. They gave us the y value which was 0. And we worked out the x value which was 2. So let's compare these two. In the first one, they asked us to work out f of 5. This 5 is in the bracket. Easy to remember, so I'm going to replace the x with 5. This number that I see over here doesn't have a bracket around it. So I see it can't be an x value. So I put it in the place of y. I solve the equation. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two. Now let's look at a few questions. They give me this function, g of x equals 2x minus 1. They give us this, g of 3 equals t. They ask us to work out t. So we work out this first. We learn that this says replace x with 3. So we go up there, replace the x with 3, and simplify this. That then gives you a 5, and therefore t is equal to 5. So the question said, g of 3 is t, determine t. First work out g of 3, get the answer, and equate it to t, and then you know t is 5. The next part looks like this. They say g of x equals to minus 11. Calculate the value of x. We rewrite this equation in this form and replace the y with minus 11. Then you just solve this equation for x. You plus 1 on both sides. And divide by 2 on both sides. You get x equals to minus 5. See the difference again? In this question, they gave us the x value, which we can put in here, and then work out the t. In this one, they gave us the y value and asked us to work out the x value. Stop the video and get your brain around these two. The next question asks, determine the zero or zeros of these two functions. The one is g of x equals to 2x minus 3. The other one is g of x equals to x squared minus 4. Let's take them one at a time. If we have to work out the zeros of g of x, it actually means make the y values zero. We write zero equals 2x minus 3, and you get x equals to 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. You can write that as a coordinate. That's 1 and a half and 0. Your y value is 0 when they ask you for zeros. I remember that there is no brackets around this word zero. So it means it is a y value that I'm going to make zero. Again, they ask, determine the zero or zeros of this function. Because there's no bracket around the word zero, so I'm going to make the y values zero. Then we solve for x. You plus 4 on both sides. If you then square root both sides, you'll get x equals to plus or minus 4. So you'll have two coordinates where the y value is 0, at minus 2 and 0, and plus 2 and 0. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two. 
Now we're going to look at some other function notation that you need to know. I'm going to use these two functions, f of x is x plus 2, and g of x equals to x squared minus 2. The first two questions says, determine 2f of x minus f of 2x, and the other one says, determine x if f of x plus g of x equals 0. Let's see how we go about it. Remember what you learned? A minus breaks up anything. So there's a piece here and a piece here. We write down the 2 first. Then we write down x plus 2, which f of x is. We write down the minus. And then we substitute 2x in the place of x. Then we just simplify this expression. First we're going to times the 2 in here. We're going to times the minus into this bracket. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 2 is 4, minus into here, minus times a plus is a minus 2x, minus times a plus is a minus 2. The final answer of this expression is then plus 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The next question says, determine the value of x if f of x plus g of x equals 0. We write down the value of f of x, which is x plus 2. We write down the value of g of x, which is x squared minus 2, and we add them, equate them to 0. Simplify that, still equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation, which we have to factorize, and then we get two answers for x. So x equals to 0 or minus 1. Please stop the video and try and understand what we did. Still using the same two functions, f of x and g of x, they ask us to do a half of g of x equals to 1. Understand, if they don't mention the f, he just is here to confuse you. You only use this guy. Write a half of whatever g of x is equal to 1. From here you can take different roads. I divided by a half on both sides. I got x squared minus 2 equals to 2. Plus 2 on both sides. Square root both sides, and you get x equals to plus or minus 2. So x equals to plus 2, or x equals to minus 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video, and subscribe to the channel. If you run into any functional problems of writing a notation that you can't solve, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number, and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. We will try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy functions.